Hey, what's up guys? My name is Andrew and I'm from BO Army. Welcome back guys to my channel. So today is the Friday guys, the 30th of uh, March and today I'm going to answer a really really big question regarding Maximus CryptoBot from our subscribers. So uh, a lot of a lot of people are emailing us and asking what's the best time uh, to trade with the Maximus CryptoBot and when not to trade with the Maximus CryptoBot. So we are gonna go through this guys during this uh, through this video, you know. Uh, anyway, so first things first, guys. First things first. If you are new to my channel, I would highly recommend you to click on that subscribe button so that you will be up to date with all my upcoming uh, video releases. And if you are my subscriber already, guys, then make sure you click on that ring bell button beside uh, subscription button so that you will get my notifications, you know, uh, with my upcoming videos. Yeah. So let's go. Let's let let's jump into the in, into the Maximus CryptoBot and let's answer this question guys. So first of all guys as you know Maximus CryptoBot is this trading software that you're looking at your screens right now. It's becoming more and more popular. It's it's becoming actually viral, you know. It's becoming really popular on an online trading world because Maximus Edge is licensed and legitimate and it's uh, and Maximus Edge is providing us uh, signals in both cryptocurrency uh, in both with both cryptocurrency signals uh, signal trades as well as traditional currency signal trades as you can see one box guys is one signal as you know and uh, people are uh, people including myself are able to profit with this software uh, by simply copying these signals on onto the broker you know and gen and and, and uh, generating money with both binary options brokers as well as CFD brokers and you can use these signals guys on a forex platform as well that's for ex more experienced traders if you are using a uh, MetaTrader 4. So yeah guys, so um, so the question guys is here. When to trade and when not to trade. Uh, and there is a really beautiful uh, beautiful uh, features regarding this uh, from Maximus CryptoBot. As you know, there is this called the economic calendar guys. Economic calendar as you can see right here. I think I mentioned this before but I really want I really want to mention and, and I really want to cover this topic again because first of all I keep receiving a lot of emails from people who ask uh, me when is the best time to trade, when is the best time not to trade and uh, on the other hand guys I also uh, get uh, a few emails from people you know who got a um, couple of losing trades during uh, well I was asking the people when did they get losing trades and eventually it turned out that people were trading during Three bull news releases, guys. Three bull news releases, okay. And by three bull news releases, guys, I mean yesterday, for example. Yesterday, yesterday morning was 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 really really uh, was really, market was really volatile yesterday, as you know. Um, and yesterday there was a good few good few uh, huge po um, huge news releases. And uh, so when you go into the Maximus crypto bot, guys, click here on the economic calendar. And this what you see on the screens is the widget from investing.com. This is guys is a is is a is a live economic calendar from investing.com and this economic calendar provides us with these fundamental news releases and the time when these news releases are uh, will be released, you know. As we can see, this was from last Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So the day for example is Friday, okay? Uh, well, today is a holiday in many countries. Today is a Good Friday. Uh, today is the, it's, it's a holiday in many countries and a bank holiday in uh, many many countries as well. Uh, it's a, it's it's kind of a holiday here in in in, in Ireland as well. I am um, at the moment I am located in Ireland, and uh, well, it's not really a holiday here. So companies and uh, and shops are still open, but you cannot purchase alcohol today. So that's the only difference today. You cannot purchase alcohol uh, today. It's illegal. Uh, yeah. So that's the only. Anyway. So uh, you can see, guys, these uh, uh, the impacts over here. You see, there's a time. Current. Uh, watch where my mouse is. So my mouse. Okay. So this is the time, and this is the currency. This is the impact, and this is the event. And the impact means how strong, uh, how strongly. Uh, these uh, how strongly this news release is going to impact uh, the global market in general. Okay, so how strong it will impact it. Uh, it comes to the domestic market and also you know the, like you know that uh, you know like USD currency. Uh, you know if the USD goes up, it's not only uh, impacting 
America, United States, you know, it's also impacting all other world markets, you know, it impacts uh, as well as commodities, stocks and indices. Uh, so if the gold, if the, if the USD goes up, what happens? Gold goes down. If gold, if gold price goes up, USD goes down. Well, this is just a little example. So, and I really want you guys to pay attention to these uh, bull. Uh, these are bull impacts. The impacts are measured in bulls. One bull, two bulls, and three bulls. One bull uh, news, uh, as you can see right here. These are really, really small news releases and will not impact the markets that much. But three bulls, three bulls news releases are really, really strong impact news. And uh, basically, guys, long story short, as I was telling you before, guys, Please do not trade half an hour before and half an hour after the three bull news releases because uh, those people who, uh, who, who got a couple of losing trades, you know, uh, yesterday, for example, they were trading uh, during three bull news. And when I checked, you know, when I checked, for example, this is the time, this was a Thursday, yesterday. So there was three bull news for, uh, for Euro from, from, from Germany, okay? Uh, unemployment changes for March, which was positive, you know, but this impacts uh, euro currency, which means that at this time euro, euro currency would most likely will most likely uh, experience uh, bullish movement, you know, bullish trend, upward trend, uh, short term upward trend. And but if, for example, if we go to the dashboard, okay, and we see uh, um, currency such as euro, euro against uh, euro against uh, GBP, for example. And in the economic calendar, we see that there is a news release at that time, uh, you know. It means, guys, we don't want to trade during half an hour before and half an hour after this news release, guys, okay. Uh, why? I will explain you why. For example, if you place a trade, if you... If you place trade, uh, let's say at at eight uh, at uh, ten to eight or eight o'clock for a German unemployment rate uh, put trade. Imagine if you put a put trade or sell trade that it, that the price is going to go down. And after five minutes, the news comes out positive. It means that the that the, 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 the currency is going to experience upward movement uh, for a little period of time. And this will uh, end up your trade of being a losing trade. It will end. You will end up losing your trade. You know. I, I hope, guys, it makes sense. If not, please email me, and I will explain you better. Uh, this again, for example, this is the GBP trade, and you know, and the, we are, we have to be really, really careful about ne these news releases. Remember, guys, on my other channel, Army Trading Channel, where I was talking about uh, Emmanuel trading in general back in the day. I was always, uh, I was always referring to economic calendar. You know, always because this is the first step what you need to do when you wake up in every every morning, guys, every morning. Before each trading session, what do we do? First, we first we don't even we don't even go to the toilet. First, we take our phones and we check what's happening in the economic calendar. You know, because we need to make sure uh, that the, that the markets are stable before we jump uh, into the trading. You know, before we jump uh, into the trading and start play and, and before we place our trades. Okay, from the broker. You know, and and that's really really important, guys. Really really important. Um, yeah. That's really important. What's this? This is 17 options broker. <clears throat> the, where is Maximum Sage? Sorry. That's really, really important, guys. Yeah. Uh, and uh, for furthermore, guys, this brings me to the second point. Uh, when is the best time to trade? Well, best time to trade, guys, is again, is the same. 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. GMT. 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. GMT. Uh, I got a lot of confusion last <laughs> yesterday, guys, last night from people uh, because we were, you know, I was telling them what's the time in your in, in your area, because now uh, we are in summer time and the GMT countries that had GMT time in winter now it's GMT plus one hour, guys. So for all of those who had GMT who are living in a GMT time zone now at the time is GMT plus one because last weekend we uh, last weekend was it we ch we changed our clocks to one hour forward. So uh, please make sure, guys, that you uh, when you check these economic calendars, that you check your time zone, guys. Okay, and the best and the best way to do it, guys, is uh, and the best way to do it, guys, is really uh, yeah. For example, uh, this is the time. This is the current time. Okay, at the moment, current time shows 
uh, we, we born in 53, which, uh, but my time is 1553, okay? So it's wrong. So make sure, guys, that you change your time to your time zone. So, uh, let me see. GMT plus one. GMT plus one. Dublin, Edinburgh, Lisbon, London. Oh, here we go, right. So make sure, guys, you change this and then you check your economic calendar, you know. This, again, is a really, really important point. And I wanted to, you know, uh, get these points across. So when you wake up in the morning, first thing, you check your economic calendar with, with your time zone, guys, with your time zone. Make sure the markets are stable and then go ahead and trade. But there will be, there shouldn't be, uh, there shouldn't be any issues because we are really concerned about these three, three world news releases, guys. A uh, two world news, one world news is fine, guys. You know, it's, it's absolutely fine. But uh, three world news is really, really, guys, impacting the market and impacting your currency pair, especially, you know, if you are trading uh, USD currency here at three o'clock, you know, or GBP currency here. At, at, at 9.30, you know what I mean? So make sure, guys, you are, you are up to date with this. Yeah, and also make sure you trade during recommended trading hours, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. GMT. Yeah, please, guys, I watched my previous video from today. For, please, please watch my next video uh, from today with my live trading session because I, 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 I've just done, uh, I just generated nice profits the, earlier today uh, from uh, six trades this morning, from six trades earlier uh, from Maximum Stage. And yeah, guys, trade responsibly, trade safely. Uh, if you have any questions, guys, uh, please email me at binaryoptionsarmy at gmail.com. If, um, if you have a difficulties with registering, you know the software is completely for free. But if you have difficulties registering, you can always uh, contact me and I will help you out. My email is the same. My email is always the same, binaryoptionsarmy at gmail.com. Trade safely, trade responsibly, invest minimum 25 euro per trade, put your stop loss, at 50%, put your take take profit level at uh, at 50% as well. Trade responsibly, and uh, you know, whenever you see your trade with uh, with uh, for example, if you put if you put in 25 euro in investment, 25 euro investment per one trade, and if you see your uh, your 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 trade in green or for it, uh, 35 euro. You know, it's best. You know, you can you can close these trades manually down to not risk. Uh, you know, you to losing to lose your trade. That's why I was as I was telling you before with CFD brokers, there is there is lesser risk, more much less risk. Uh, you know, when you trade CFD trades, because you can set your stop loss and take profit levels. But with binary option trades, if the trade is 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 is, 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 is you know is going the wrong way, you're going to lose all your investment for that trade. That's why CFD trades are much much more reliable, you know, and uh, you can generate uh, more profits uh, across more more uh, different types of trades as well. Yeah, guys, thanks again for watching this video. Please, please like and subscribe, and see you guys again next time. Bye.